Good morning, Mick Flanagan here with my partner Jean in the Philippines. We have three chili plants here, chili peppers, the hot ones, the little hot one. And we're going to plant in this bucket uh, because we've just moved the lemon tree into a bigger bucket. Uh, so now we'll give these chili plants a bit more space. They were also in that bucket with the lemon. So three chili plants are going in here. Yeah. Notice the gloves. We don't have proper gloves here in the Philippines, not at the moment. I have a unique glove, so anyway, I prefer the bucket. There is some um, soil in the bottom. There is soil in the bottom there. And Smells like kitchen. I I put the manure, the leftovers from the kitchen and the leaves and then we're going to put some soil on the top before we put our plants. So now this one. That's the biggest. It's got quite big really. Yeah, this one we're going to transfer in here because it's only plant in a cellophane. And then it's fruiting, so we need to be in the Yeah, it's quite big. I'm standing back to get it in. Wow. There. And you're going to put two little peppers around the side? We put there. We mix them because we don't have... We've run out of buckets as well. You're working well there, babe. Yeah, I like it. I like doing it. How come you get all the good jobs? <laughs> we buy the soil because, you know, it's not all concrete around here. But if we are in the province, we can just dig the soil mm. around us. So some people are watching there and then they are planning to do their plants like this it's better to have your own soil uh, around you just the normal normal soil than buying, buying soil because the normal soil is in the ground that are more nutrients from what the needs of the plant ah, they call this plenty nutrients in this when we bought the garden center yeah but we didn't know really if it's Really no. nice, this one. It looks nice though, it feels rich to the touch. Yeah, it looks nice because it's black. But maybe it is. Can we see some of the peppers on here? Just little at the moment, this plant. You just little green uh, ones. Just push the soil a bit so it will like tighten to the plants you planted yeah so you need to make it sure that you're if you're planting you need to make it sure that the soil is tied to the plants just the peppers. so it don't easily to distort yeah there are more chili in there because that one is already giving fruit. Yeah, you can see the little one. I don't know if it's when they're red, they're ready. Yeah. yeah. Although we eat. But it's also you can also use that even it's green. You can still use it. It's really that one. It's hot, but it's more hotter when it's red. Yeah. So we have two buckets now. We have the chili pepper and also the lemon here. Mm -hmm. 
Hopefully they'll appreciate us moving them and send out plenty. Ah, you can see the peppers here. They like a banana shape. And then we will water them. It's quite a branch on that main chili one. It mm. got established very quick. How old is it that, would you say? That one, it's three months old. Is that all? Yeah. And you grew that from seed? Yeah, from seeds. You'll have to do another program showing the little chili seeds that grow into these big bush, bushes. Yeah, we will show them how to grow yeah. a, um, you know, a chili from when there is one really there. Okay, give them a drink and that's it, is it? Yeah. All done? It's all done. That's it for today. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.